Welcome to Paul's Talk. This is going to be like the second of all this vlog series where we talk about sports issues and you know what is happening in you know major sports. Um, this is going to be like uh, a follow up to main event or event status here on YouTube, saying that there is such a you know there is an issue within FIFA, you know the uh, the organization of FIFA and how the hell. Qatar won the you know the draw for the upcoming like I think that was 2018 or 2022 correct me if I'm wrong for you know for the future World Cup and considering the fact that Qatar is one of the hottest countries considering that it's in the Middle East how the hell do they want that it's going by game fixing you know game fixing have been have been in the you know major sports like football and basketball for a long time. Ever since greed came into play, this that happened. For example, in, in football, in football nowadays, in like Serie A, there's always this news about um, corruption under the hand uh, table deals, and it just recently, just recently, I think that's that uh, was last year. Um, one of the investigating bodies, well, when it comes to football fixing, you know, football match game fixing. Have uh, have arrested people that involves in these kinds of schemes, and I'm going to be honest with you, this is nothing new to me, because in the country that I live in, there's always the news, I mean, there's always a deal with players fixing the games, you know, like scoring specific, you know, specific amount of points to, you know, get the pot money, or there's this issue that. Um, certain game series is rigged um, just for example the last I think that was the last conference of the last season that uh, the street the series the series that went from one game to the other to both teams then it goes down to game seven and the uh, surprise surprise the favorite team you know the well favored team which is you know the powerhouse you know cheating referees and stuff <laughs> have won a championship one of their three championships they're actually right now in three beats but there's such thing as grand slam here where you three uh, win three championships in a row in a con in a season but that's not a case here game fixing as it is it's horrible it destroys the beauty of the sport i'm going to talk about uh, particularly football and baseball this this really uh, this really degrades the uh, level of you know level of passion within the game when you realize that there are people actually sort of going around trying to fix games, trying to manipulate the results in order for them to have money. It's sad. I mean, uh, as a sports fan, when you hear this kind of song, uh, you know this kind of news. And you are very passionate about the uh, passionate about name of football or baseball. It's just you just have to um, salt there and think how we're going to fix this. How we we can't unless unless the govern the governing bodies like FIFA or FIFA, uh, FIFA will fix these kinds of things. But unfortunately, we don't see it with Sepp Blatter allowing Qatar to win the draw. For you know the future World Cup, that rings a bell to me. That rings to many people's bells, because amongst the countries that are you know bidding to uh, to host FIFA, why Qatar? Why, you know, if you're going to if you're going to check the the temperatures of uh, Qatar, whether it's on you know winter season in Europe. Or in summer season, maybe in the uh, the Americas, it's just damn hot, and you cannot play football in that kind of temperature, especially with European players, or players that are you know used to the climate of the western uh, west uh, northern hemisphere. It's going to be a drastic climate, you know, climate adjustment for them, and hence they may help. They might get heat stroke there. They might get killed. And it raises a lot of questions when FIFA, FIFA drew Qatar as one of the main big, you know, they know that they have money 
I know they have tons of money. But the fact that FIFA chose Qatar to be a host, why not like China do also have tons of money who can actually build um, great stadiums, have you know have a decent environment, or any countries that will not affect any players at all when they're playing because when the going gets tough in Qatar, when it's really really hot there, it reaches like a hundred fire and a hundred degrees Fahrenheit. I kid you not. There are some instances that it heats like um, fifty degree, uh, fifty degrees, fifty degrees Celsius. Convert that to Fahrenheit. And if you're a European football player, even though yes, yes, you might be living in the equator, but the 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 heat that we're suffering here in the equator is incomparable to what is hot in Middle East. That raises a lot of questions. For me, that is fixed. That is great. I don't know. I'm not going to assume on how Qatar got it, but I'm sure it involves money. Money makes the world go round. And it's, uh, you know, I cannot express enough on how disgusted I am to, you know, when you open up the TV, you tune to, you know, a sports dedicated channel, you see these kinds of news. Game fixing here, game fixing there. A player fixes game here, fix there. Um, the bidding got here, then there. No words. No words. It's just you know, just keep it up your uh, keep it in your chest. Oh my god. I know. I know. I know. It's just. We have to be honest here. We're not going. It's there's no way that we're going to fix it, but we can reduce it. That is all. I'm Homer, and you know what? It's T minus, uh, T minus nine, before the FIFA World Cup starts. Wear your colors proud. Cheer for the country that you are. You are cheer. You're going to cheer on, and let's show the world that regardless of the problems that we're, go we're having and um, you know this this kind of schemes we're still going to be united as sports fans regardless of the country see you